how to use and add milestone in ClickUp. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use, add and also convert any task to a specific uh, milestone into your ClickUp uh, workspace. So we can add here a milestone or convert a task into a, like a, let's say here a milestone or set up whatever we want from here. So it is going to be crucial to head over uh, clickup.com, sign in for an account, and you're going to see this dashboard. Now, what are we going to do basically is to head over the uh, dashboard or the workspace of ours. For example, in here we have the spaces. We're going to see everything and we have this one specific one. So I'm going to click on the ticketing or the ticket system and we're going to head over the customer support. Maybe I'm going to add here a task or I can go ahead and add a milestone. So you can go ahead and set up the thing in here by converting, for example, one of the tasks to a milestone. So you can go ahead and click on here and click on convert. And you can go ahead and see normally from here a milestone. But it doesn't matter if it is not going to be shown in here. So we're going to have it as a subtask. So you can go ahead and add a task and have, for example, something added. Now, let's say that we have added everything or set up the thing from here. So we can go ahead and head over the list and then we can go ahead and add a new list for that and put it as a milestone. So you can go ahead in here and click on, uh, instead of add task, you're going to click on the drop down menu, click on a milestone and you're going to see that uh, in the place of the dot in here, we have a little diamond showing up in here, which is going to be a uh, here um, calculated or considered as a milestone. For example, first, for example, uh, service, let's say here and make it as a service. And if you have, for example, the view of the uh, Gantt or Gantt in here, you're going to see here the uh, specific view of that specific milestone. So basically you're going to have here the first service. We can go ahead and find it just right there. So I'm going to uh, set up thing in here you can go ahead and see that the specific milestone that we have in here I'm going to select it and you're going to see it normally in this specific table so you can go ahead and add the uh, specific uh, date so the start date is going to be today and the end date is going to be maybe uh, this one so we are going to let it as today then we are going to have it just like that as you can see with the diamond in here so for the task it is not going to have a diamond but it is going to have the specific dot in here so we are going to have the specific uh, comment area now in place of the specific task you can go ahead and add in here uh, the milestone from here or convert any task into the specific uh, let's say here um, milestone that you have so you are going to have here the task. You can go ahead and convert it. I know that it is going to be in here, but I don't think that I have the right to do that in here. I don't know why. Maybe it is going to be something that we need to do later. And I think that I have found the reason that it is not going to uh, set up in here the milestone. And it is going to be very simple. We are going to head over the task, click on it, and you are going to see the details of that task. So from here, we are going to have the three dots or the more settings. Click on task settings, and then you're going to see the convert. Click on it, and you're going to see the list, subtask, or mark as milestone. So I have marked it as a milestone, and you're going to see the dot that has been changed to a specific diamond. So if we are going to head over the gut view, you're going to see everything in here. So we have, as you can see, the diamond here and the diamond right there. So basically that was pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.